啦啦。Peeps and welcome back to Two Point Hospital. Welcome back to Fluttering, where we are working towards our third star.、Uh, indeed, we are.、Um, uh, since the last episode, I managed to find our second diagnosis nurse for this area.、Uh, I have、uh, started ward training on our second ward nurse, and I employed、uh, a new a janitor who is learning mechanics.、Um, no, I employed a new janitor who has. Ghost training, and we already had a janitor that had no training uh, uh, to speak of at all,、um, who I've put into mechanics. That's what I've done. So、um, now, look, we've discovered a new illness: bottled mind, a severe boggling of the mind,、uh, often caused by exposure to new, sometimes paradigm-altering information.、Uh, through careful analysis of this condition, scientists have been able to derive the equation mind. Equals blown. <laughs> Sadly, this equation has proven to be entirely useless. Indeed, right,、um, and that's the psychiatry one. So we now have. It's worth noting. Look, because we had、uh, Mockstar pop up as well, didn't we? So we now have a greater increase in demand by two whole new illnesses、uh, on psychiatry. But we have、uh, got a new. Uh, a new third psychiatrist that we are training up, along with、uh, our fourth GP that we are training up. We built、um, a third training room as well. To be honest, we could probably do with a fourth, but、um, you know, there we are. We're、uh, halfway through level ten, so it, you know, times are tough. Times are tough as it is, right? <laughs> with that, without causing too much, uh, uh, too many issues for ourselves. Now, this guy is、uh, getting pretty. Pretty unhappy.、Um, even though he doesn't have any complaints, maybe he's just been in the hospital a long time. His boredom is down, but he is sitting right next to things that, you know, could help with his boredom,、uh, and he's just choosing not to.、Um, but he is due to be called into the room, I believe. At the queue, there goes being called into the room. The queue is getting pretty big on the、uh, on the old pharmacy at the moment. Um, hmm. Um, but I did push a load of people through for cure. That could be it.、Uh, through for treatment, you know. So it was、uh, quite sudden.、It、was quite sudden. Right. So、uh, yeah, it, it, we've now got into a situation where it's again we're back to managing. We've had we've had a big、uh, expansion of growth,、um, and it's back to managing and training、uh, the staff that we have,、um, and just trying to keep the queues down as best as possible.、Um, oh yeah. Did they, Harrison? Okay. I was born to play records, baby. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough.、Um, so I'm quite keen to、um, get a whole bunch more classes going.、Um, I think it's quite good to constantly have、uh, classrooms going,、um, and I like the idea of having a class going for different types of staff. I mean, we've got two nurse, two nurses here.、Um, But、uh, I quite like the idea of having, you know, a doctor training in one, nurse in the other, janitor in the other, just so we're not taking too many of the same members of staff off the floor. You know, that's that's a bit of an issue. So is、um, our assistant still able to get through this queue?、Um, you know, it's a thing. <laughs> is she still able to do it?、Um, it. It would be interesting to see. She gets through them pretty quick, and、uh, she has. I do want to replace her because I don't like the fact that she's got motivation training. To be honest,、um, so here, look, Melissa, darling, Melissa, darling,、um, would be a good one for us to start、uh, training up, and she is ready for training, which would bring her pretty close to.、Um, Amelia here, so you know this might be quite good for us,、um, and we could slowly 
um, train up Amelia while uh, train up Melissa while Amelia keeps sort of filling in those training gaps. Um, that might be the sort of thing uh, that we do. And look, we are now able to send her straight for training, even though the uh, <laughs> Amelia's just walked off. Uh, Clive, dude. Uh, excellent, excellent. Now we've got a low health heart thing here going. What's going on? Cardiology. Well, to be honest, at 88%, you could go straight for treatment uh, and not go to cardiology at all. Uh, so I think as soon as he comes out of the toilet, we will send him straight for treatment and then get him to the top of that queue. That might be a good idea. She has got through that queue. It's fantastic, even with our... Right. So where are you? Pharmacy. Let's get him to the top of the pharmacy queue. And he's immediately turned around and started walking away from the pharmacy, which is interesting, uh, to say the least. Um, we could probably do with a bit of ooh, prioritizing of this queue. Um, they're wandering around, I think. Where are all these patients? Um, apart from the guy who is next. See what I mean? He's next and he's wandered all the way over here to buy some food. Which means we probably... Maybe we should do something about some snacks machines shall we pull this one away oh my goodness oh my goodness get rid of them um get rid of that bench um actually let's put the benny well we'll get rid of this oh 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 put the no we'll put the benny there and we'll put some more snacks machines here i think see if it'll just reduce how far um they are walking um, away from this other building because um, he hadn't made it to this other building had he oh dear that's a bit unpleasant um, so let's see because um, he held up this entire queue because he came all the way down here to buy some snacks Shout which is no good at all no good at all um, oh awards while I was training up a bunch of stuff we did win patient choice award we did and we've won it again. We don't have a rising star because a lot of our staff are quite well trained at the moment. But we might start getting it again soon. Um, so here we go. Got the patient, uh, patient Choice Award. A special honour awarded uh, by the patients themselves. They tend to vote based on treatment success and reputation. Um, yeah, I think uh, you know we do fairly well uh, in that area. It says it's 99. It always seems to say that it's 99. But... Um, where was it? It was in here somewhere. Uh, here. It says 100. So, you know, I, I, I do get a little bit confused about that from time to time, to be honest. Uh, shoot five mono beasts. Okay. Uh, we've just we've just shot a lot of mono beasts, to be honest. Um, so, maybe under reception. There's one. Oh. Two. Under here? No. No. Okay. Uh, fine. And we've just uh, we've just moved all this, haven't we? What about down here? In fact, this is getting a bit this is a bit pokey down here, isn't it? I wonder. Maybe we could just remove these bits altogether. That might be all right. There we go. Right. Um, so training then because uh, we haven't quite done that mono beast one but let's not worry about it I'm very very keen to get Erica here back into training because she does have a training slot open for GP3 uh, so let's do it let's get that on the go yes Sandy let's promote you uh, what is this uh, promote three staff did it fantastic uh, pretty pleased with that uh, we could do with shooting just some more mono beasts Excellent. There we go. That's that challenge done as well. All the kudos she could possibly want. Um, didn't sort out the machines before he uh, visited us. Bit of a shame. So we have a doctor being trained. We do have a doctor being trained. Um, excellent. Okay. We would kind of like 
to pull her off reception and let her do nothing for a bit because uh, we need her to gain the experience. We need Melissa here to gain experience so we can train her again. Um, yes. So do that. Um, we could do with training a nurse. Uh, let's see here. Um, also, we could do with uh, training up this diagnosis. Let's go with... Um, the the ward let's train them up in ward management too excellent excellent uh, i think they're managing the ward quite well at the moment those two nurses i think they are to be honest i believe so um i suppose we could just pop that up to two extra ones um because we do have three nurses do we working available for the ward so if why not if they're not doing anything we, we, we might as well that's not a good uh, icon to be seeing uh, they're pretty bored and all the rest of it let's see if we can expedite their their visit here um, actually they've got their diagnosis which is fantastic um, and they've been called into the room so they're about to be cured or killed <laughs> either one a ward emergency i think we could probably deal with that eight patients with monobrow uh, i think we can deal with that so we'll take it um and yeah he quite liked our medical facilities so that was good that was good uh we don't have i don't think any cues at the moment on the ward um we have two members of staff uh one that is fairly tired oh, one that is fairly tired so we'll have the emergency coming in oh my goodness what's going on here uh let's see if we can rush through a few uh people for for cure because uh, it seems that we've got a load of people diagnosed um and queuing back up for the gp's office again um so let's just pull them out of that system that isn't needed they're all in the toilet um what are you at 83 yeah uh, 82 can't get to them let's try these ones still in the bathroom oh damn it they were out they were out <laughs> Uh, how far down can we go? You're a bit low. You're in the ward. You're still in the bathroom. You're ready to come out of the ward. You've been called into the room. We've missed the opportunity with you. Um, oh. Yeah, they are actually in there. Um... Uh, you as well. There we go. So that's a lot of people. Um, it might just help these cues. What it doesn't help is his cue. Um, it doesn't help him at all. I think we could do with um, another nurse who is a pharmacist. Um, that might be a good thing. Ties easily though. Wants more frequent breaks. Not sure I want you. <laughs> so get rid of them. Um... Okay. Training course complete. Class dismissed. Okay. So some more training has gone through. Nursery Excellent. So what else can we uh, do? Keep the training going. So our doctors are pretty good. In fact, the only doctor that we've got left with a training slot open is Boris, uh, who is our treatment doctor. So we're going to have to uh, increase his treatment skill. His cues, I am probably am just going to um, allow to go up um, because it's, it's just Pan's lab so we're just going to leave him to it I think oh look at that I say that was it for the doctors but we've just promoted one <laughs> just promoted one um, oh so he'll be able to get GP2 that's fantastic we have a nurse being trained at the moment um, this assistant is available for training, but that's not the assistant we're after. We want to train this assistant, so... Oh, but she has to do with a pay rise. Um, now, what's going on with the janitors? So, oh, let's get his uh, maintenance up to two. We're going to do that. Excellent. 
Now, I am not going to want Madeline here to go back to the GP's office. We want to send her straight for cure and the pharmacy is getting out of control. Um, oh dear. Okay, pharmacy is a bit out of control, um, particularly when he goes on break. So let's just take a moment here. Uh, we really don't have, well, works for peanuts, terribly dull, charming. Okay, so it might be them um, that's going to take the, become a second pharmacy. I don't know if we're going to keep uh, this second pharmacy. Um, it might be that we occasionally close the room down, uh, not sell it, but just uh, close it from time to time and, and, and open it uh, sort of when we really, really need it. Uh, like I, I'm sort of feeling like we do now and it'll also give us the opportunity if we've got two, pharma two pharmacists uh, being trained up as well. I mean, that can only be a good thing, I, I, I would have thought. Um, so let's pop down uh, these. Um, and we could do with uh, getting a fire extinguisher here. Um, put a filing cabinet up, oh, up, oh, there. Excellent. Um, we will put. Uh, oh, I think. Uh, I don't know actually. Where do we? Where did we put it? Please look out. Pop that there. Okay. Pop that there. Get him a chair as well. There we go. And uh, maybe a clock. Oops, we've messed up that placement. Um, we have done it a little bit different. Um, but yeah, we upset that. Um, and a bin. A bin. Uh, can I put the bin under the clock without upsetting? Probably not. Let's just move the clock a bit then. There we go. So there's that. Let's go back to that uh, nurse. Where are the nurses? There we are. Uh, pop him on pharmacy so that... Uh, oh, he's currently... Nurse, please go to the pharmacy. He's currently in the clown clinic, which we don't want. Uh... It's Alice here that's supposed to be in the clown clinic. She's having a break. That's fine. Um, and let's get a Benny down, I think, here. Um, and maybe a little more entertainment just here. Uh, might be nice. Might be nice. Um, oh, dear. Their health is pretty low. Um, let's get them to the... Oh, oops. Not to the bottom. To the top of the pharmacy uh, queue. There we go. Um... Right, any more low or yeah, where are you? Right, okay, so you're at nine. Right, so she's actually, oops, no. Oh no, he's gone in. So where is she going? She has left this bench to do what? Why has she decided to come all the way over here? She was bored. So she was right next to these. And she's gone over to that one. It's a bit frustrating. Not going to lie. Uh, given her health problems as well. Do you know what I mean? Take a seat. Uh, get off those feet. Right. Get them over to the pharmacy. Are you... <laughs> Please, everybody. Is the queue realigning itself? Not sure. Not sure. Uh, okay. There we go. Bringing the cues down. Bringing the cues down. Excellent. Right. I wonder what the drug mixer. Oh yes, it can be. Well, let's uh, let the cues come down for these a little bit, and then yeah, we could upgrade it. Uh, we'll give that a go. Um, so. What have we got training here? Doctor. So we could train a nurse. Uh, we could train a nurse. Let's train uh, you here. Nurse um, general diagnosis. In diagnosis two. That's what we'll do. 
that's what we'll do. Um, how are the patients faring? Um, because look at them all. See this? Wish we could do this automatically. Um, really, really, really do. And, uh, and when I push them all through to cures, of course, it, it really does uh, put strain on those cure rooms. Um, but there we are. Uh, it, the pharmacy really doesn't like it when I do this, does it? It really doesn't like it. So they're all in the toilets again, I think. Uh, Training course complete. Class excellent. Excellent. What are you, 81? I definitely want to send somebody who's 80 or above. Uh, straight for cure, I would say. Straight for treatment. Come along. No? You're absolutely refusing to come out of there, aren't you? Absolutely refusing to do it. Um, so we've got nurse training going on. So now, didn't we have a doctor that was ready? Yes, for GP training. Hugh. Fantastic, Hugh. I would like to send you for GP2. Uh, oh, shall try that again. GP2. There we go. Um, they do take a long time, these training courses. Uh, it would be nice. Uh, look, see, we're up to level 11 just from promoting staff. <laughs> Jeez. Um, right. Um, now, she's not quite ready. She's not quite ready. Uh, but look, very, very close. She's getting close to being ready. Close to being ready. What's going on with the janitors? Um, so we've got two janitors here. Right, we're going to send Roy and Vladimir um, on motivation training. That's what we're going to do. Um, Roy. That's it. They're both going to go on motivation training. So going to take two um, janitors away from the floor. Let's bear that in mind. Let's remember that we're doing that. It's important. It's important. Uh, oh dear, look at this queue. <laughs> Let's hope that uh, once she's back, she manages to deal with this queue in a nice, timely manner. That would be good. That would be fantastic indeed. Um, let's get you out the door. Uh, it, look, it just it, it happens so fast, doesn't it? Um, Cooper Shady. Shandy. Cooper Shandy. Um, Jessica Wood. A fantastic beanie. Um, you can go straight for cure. Um, Henrietta. Lovely. Lovely name. Victoria. Uh, what are you at? 79 is starting to push it a little bit. Um, a, li a little bit low for my liking. Oh, but we've just had Maisie the Clown. Maisie Trousers. Uh, she has just made her way to uh, the treatment line back to you <laughs> back to you <laughs> and uh, the ward still seems to be going okay uh, with these nurses Nurse to the pharmacy. you know do seem to be going okay uh, oh so here low health warning where are you I'd like to put you to the top of the queue uh, to be honest staff promotion once again Yes, I would like to promote them. Indeed, I would. Now, are you going to make your... Oh, she is ready for training. So, except I don't have any spare training rooms available. That's fine. As soon as we have a training room available, we're going to... Oh, it's about to clock up. Oh, no. Oh, no. Janitors. Do we have a janitor that can deal with that, please? Fairly quickly. That's not you, is it? You're the one janitor. <laughs> Typically found the one janitor. Uh, okay, let's staff. Janitors, janitors, janitors. Hello. Um, could you please... It's upsetting everybody. Upsetting everybody. Um, so that's that training done. So what we need to do... 
is allow for Amelia here to, who's having a fantastic time in the staff room. She was dancing, did you see that? She has a lot of spare time on her hands. We're going to allow her now to uh, work on reception while we get Melissa here trained in customer services three. There we go. Excellent. Excellent. Now, a doctor has almost finished their training. There it is. So let's see, another doctor for training. Who have we got? Um, so Hazel Tart here uh, could um, be trained. Boris again is up for training. Um, shall we, tr actually let's do Boris. Let's get his treatment up. Um, you know, it always fares well for the hospital uh, if, you know, your cure rates are high and having his treatment in the extractor van um, high is can only be a good thing right it can only be a good thing um fantastic let's go through our mail uh yes we wish to promote all the time now that we're promoting our level is going up but we're going we're expanding the hospital we're increasing this level in a controlled manner so the patients coming in and it's it we're doing it in a controlled way this is the way to do it we can't we can't have any unexpected boosts of sudden surges of patients coming in. You know, it's not it's not going to happen. Sally Fig Blanket's latest county roundup just went live. She doesn't say much about the hospital, except that it exists. That's not good. That's not good. Um, that's not good at all. <laughs> Staff morale is quite good. Oh, yes. Now, I think, how are the queues? Oh, dear. Um, for the pharmacy pretty good pretty good um i think we would like to get melanie um melanie through and then i'm quite interested i think in getting this upgraded uh this one is upgraded isn't it it's getting some maintenance um but i do think that we should get melanie through the door actually do you think we should get Melanie through the door? Uh, unfortunately, we failed to complete the request. Oh dear. Whoops, a daisy. Uh, a group of psychiatry patients were kicked out of a jumbo hospital for failing to bow to Mr. McNally. Wow. <laughs> and are now looking for further treatment. Okay, so this is uh, cure four patients with Freudian lips. Um, I, do you know, I think our psychiatry um, department's okay, isn't it? Um, let's have... So stand a minute. Let's have a look. Um, they're pretty good. It's a pretty good queue, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, they're good. Uh, I could do, give her a pay rise. Oh, oh dear. No. Oh, damn it. Missed him. Um, and what about... I could do with a pay rise. Where did it go? I missed it. Um, okay, so we're going to have to make sure that they do get to the top of the queues. We don't want to forget about them, otherwise it won't happen um yeah pharmacy go back to the pharmacy you're in the wrong building to be honest you're in the wrong bleeding building uh what's happened here okay all right all right let's put you to the top of the queue there we are uh please get her through she's she's peaky she's peaky so the vips are in let's just slow this down i want to make sure that the vips right it looks like they're queuing up for this one let's put him to the top of the queue um that was one here comes another one uh do we know which one they've gone to yet probably yes this one so they seem to be coming here fair enough um, so that's two. Are we expecting two more? Wasn't it four? I thought it was four. Are they going to trickle in, are they? Oh, we dealt with them. That's fantastic. And now while this is being repaired, the queue's going up <laughs> over here. Um, I don't like the fact that this queue is built up over here. Send you away. Um, clean up. They're all new patients. This GP office is definitely picking up. Um, uh, it's definitely picking up people that have been in this area for further. 
diagnosis. Um, so I'm quite keen, I think, to get a GP office back here to try and stop them from going backwards. Um, that might be nice. Uh, right, what's, so what's going on? It looks like they are, have started to pile in now. Um, oh, and they're all in the wrong order. You don't even need to be here. Um, so two VIPs there. What about here? There's no VIPs here. Okay. Just busy, probably because the VIPs are over here. It's probably all it is. So it's, it's good to note that with one emergency, these do start to struggle just a little bit. I'll tell you what radio is, you sultana brained miscreants. Oh it is a delivery system for class and integrity. It is the home of the world's noblest profession. And it is the fastest growing medium among people with three figure IQs. Up, right. Some god awful jingles. Um, god -awful jingles. Uh, what we'll do, I think, is send Natasha here. Um, actually, no, we won't. Yeah, because she is the one that's currently in here. I think we're going to... Her training... She's fairly low. She's fairly low, which means she doesn't work as efficiently. So we need to... Uh, and she's not as good at actually diagnosing and stuff like that. So we... Yeah, I mean, she's, I think, has dealt with the emergency okay, uh, which is good. But we did have one of our weaker doctors in there to do it. Um, it's a bit of a shame. Uh, we could do with uh, training a nurse. Training a nurse. Um, ah, maybe we could finally train uh, this nurse in pharmacy <laughs> management. Uh, that would be a fantastic start. So it's, it's going okay. It's going okay. Um, slow and steady. And we are almost at three stars. Um, oh, oh, it's good. I'm happy. I enjoy it here in Flottering. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button. As long as you are here, why not check out one of my delectable videos available? Feel free to come stalk me on social media and be sure to share this video with friends so even more may watch my shizwa. See you next time, peeps.